Hi, I'm Paul. This is Couch Guy. And today we're bringing you a very special edition of the Juice Smart Guys show. Live from DEF CON. And lovely Las Vegas. And you see the Rio Hotel <laughs> behind us where uh, DEF CON's new home is this year. And uh, we were lucky enough, one of the uh, lucky one of 10,000 to get a badge, a real human badge. Um, the poor bastards after us got paper badges. Um, but we really got lucky because we got the last like 600 that were available. Yeah, so uh, DEF CON, they are very well known for their unique badges. Well, uh, yeah. In the past, they've been electronic, and people would hack them, and... They were very, very elaborate. Apparently, everybody is doing that at these security conventions now, so... It's now trendy, so who wants to be trendy? So now they're doing this cool, like, social puzzle and live-action role-playing It's like part cipher, so <laughs> if you can imagine, every badge has a different like group of numbers so like we both have the same number but there are other groups that don't have this number and they have different notches and they're different shapes now if you are a human that's normal attendees you get a round badge if you are like uh, a goon a goon's like you have the like staff a t- walker yeah. texas ranger like star and if you're a uh, lead uh, like yeah, person you, you get like a skull it's awesome <laughs> so but all the human badges have different notches and you get those from winning contests by the way Anyway, so we have notches, and there's a cipher on the floor, and there's clues all over the place. So it's this gigantic puzzle that the group has to solve. And solving it has been interesting so far because we found out a, cu- a couple of different things. Yeah, so and it's been, you know, I don't know how much we want to release inside this because the it's, it's puzzle's not going to be over with when you see this tonight. Right, right. So this is the first video that we're going to post from DEF CON. We're probably going to post a couple more, and then a final episode, and we'll, we'll post the answer to the what or answers, because apparently this holds the key to many. <laughs> well, and even not in just this year, but next year. And I can tell you that we've discovered that the notch plus the number correlates to a mod 12 method. So we're going to, you know, that has to correlate somehow to the cipher on the floor, which correlates to the numbers on the signs, which could correlate to numbers inside the booklet. My goodness, this is so, dis- you know, Deep. Anyways, take a look at some of the footage from earlier today where they give some insight on how they made these titanium badges. And what they go through, you know, yeah. in general. And uh, from this DEF CON huge hacker convention in Las Vegas. I think this room is pretty spectacular. That's a new badge, new badge contests. Uh, we went away from electronic this year to the titanium. Uh, and you'll notice, it turns out that this is basically a key to a whole bunch of contests that are running right now that's tied into posters and program and art and shirts and things on the network. And we even have secret agents mixed in among you that have clues that you might have to end up interacting with. Um, we've got all kinds of cool shit going on. And the theme of Spy vs. Spy is what it's all about. So you might actually have to observe sort of a dead drop. You might have to observe people interacting. You might have to sneak up to somebody and pass them a note and I'll get some information back to you. So it's a pretty cool, but I'm going to let Lost sprinkle some more clues in during this talk. Mr. Lost. Why don't you just ask me to go ahead and do the badges this year? All around. And we actually, for DEF CON, have purchased pretty much, with give or take a little bit, all of the existing stock titanium that's in big flat sheets in the entire country. <laughs> I wanted like a clean, pure look to it. And it's supposed to, to give the feeling of an old artifact or relic that's been passed through time. So the contest badge, I had to give props to my people. So my DEF CON roots really come from the contest area. The press, the speaker, and the vendor badges were given a deliberate shape so that the goons could easily identify humans from other types of badges from a distance. That's why those are the same shape, or one of the reasons in The good badge, you can see my wonderful artistic skills up there, the amorphous blob. So these are some of my design notes for the goon badge. I really wanted the goons to feel, you know, Walker, Texas Ranger, just for the Uber badge. Now, this is what they actually look like, and I've got a picture that I'll put up in a minute. The original cat drawings I did as a uh, just a preliminary sketch. So that's what, that's what the uh, prototype had to look like when we first got it. This is pre antiquing. So we built these little rigs here to hang them on. So in between every badge is a little washer, is a spacer, and we put them on these rods. And then these whole this whole thing got shoved inside inside the, the oven. And you can see them hanging there. So there's some of the contest badges hanging there. 
um, when I started uh, trying to figure out what I was going to do with the math and the crypto. This is just this is how I sketch and doodle in my head. This is what I do. This guy. I think I'd like to make a file at the top for all the hints. Again, another redaction. I love the of this because you know I thought that would be fun. So, so Neo plus Loft plus Late Night Video this guy equals the awesome wheel of death. And, and I redacted some of these while I can't even remember what happened. You have been working on other parts of the concepts, but haven't even realized, oh, wait a minute, there's that binary So you may have noticed in the program, there's uh, a few odds and ends and things. <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Well, and you know, it's that's just the beginning of DEF CON, and you know, this is not the only aspect of DEF CON. You know, we've been going to talks all day, there's little conferences. Some people are playing Capture the Flag in this really dark room. Um, They've got little um, robot chickens doing a cockfight type thing. You've got all <laughs> kinds of things. Um, you know, it's a whole lot of stuff. You, there's no way we're going to cover it all in these little, you know, briefings. But we're going to do our best to try yeah, and bring stuff. Yeah, we're going to try and, ca and and convince some people being on camera. Most people like anonymity. Yeah, we're having we're finding <laughs> we're finding that there are some willing participants. As long as you know, eh, sometimes they're willing. Sometimes they, as soon as we bring the camera out, they run away. So we'll try and do some more after the first day. Everybody gets their jitters down. We'll talk to some more and see what we do. We've talked to a lot of people. We've gotten some really cool ideas for how the ciphers are going to work. So hopefully we'll give you some updates on yeah, that make sure, next. Yeah, make sure and follow me at, at Walking Crow at Tommy5C, and uh, we'll be posting updates from DEF CON and when we release new videos. And when we can get you know internet access, we'll do all that. Hey, we're going to leave you. You're going to watch. We've been playing snippets of the DEF CON intro video for DEF CON 19. We're going to let you watch the entire thing. Jump in,